Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically upload HTML email templates from Figma into the Salesforce Pardot platform using the Emailify plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to your Figma file and click on the resources icon at the top. And if you search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, if you just click on the Emailify item, you'll see this little window pop up. And to run the plugin, all you need to do is click on the run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this more options icon here and clicking save Figma plugin. And that's just gonna save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas, just right click anywhere and go down to plugins and then go down to saved plugins and click on emailify. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we just saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically helps you to design emails in Figma that can then be exported automatically to production ready HTML uh, from the plugin. So I'll just show you an example uh, here. So I'm just gonna create a new frame called test pardot template and click on add new emailify container. And I'm not gonna go through all the design features of the plugin in this tutorial. Uh, I'll just create a really simple uh, template just so we can get a sense of how it looks in Pardot. And I'm just gonna add a Pardot footer as well. So if you go to the footers tab in the plugin and just scroll down here, you'll see the Pardot uh, icon. Just go ahead and click on that and that will automatically populate things like the unsubscribe link and the view in browser link. So you can see here, I've got my unsubscribe link and view in browser link here pre-populated. So you can obviously style all these components to be uh, on brand. As I mentioned, there's some other tutorials on the channel that go into way more detail uh, about how to do that. But for today, I'm just gonna be assuming that you've already got your template designed and customized the way that you want in Figma. And you now just wanna upload it to the Pardot platform automatically. So before you upload it, you can preview it by clicking on this little preview icon here. And that's just gonna preview the email in Figma just so you can see what it's gonna look like. So if you're happy with the design, uh, you can basically start the process of uploading it into Pardot by clicking on this export HTML button in the plugin. So click on export HTML and by default, it will automatically export it to a zip file on your computer, but we can change that by clicking on this little drop down here. And if you just scroll down the list to the platform integration section, and if you scroll far enough, you'll see the Pardot option pop up. And you notice that there's two of them here. So the first one is the API upload. So that's the one we're gonna be focusing on for now. Uh, but there's also an option with a local zip export. So if you just wanted to download the template directly to your computer and manually upload it, you can definitely do that as well. Just select the local zip export option and it will export the template for Pardot with all of the uh, template tags and things like that included. But for today, we're gonna to be using the API upload. So I'm just gonna click on Pardot API upload. And this is gonna prompt us to put in a few details. So I'll walk you through where to find these details in Pardot and how we can then upload this automatically to our Pardot account. So the other thing I should just briefly mention is that Pardot was actually renamed. So Pardot is now technically called Marketing Cloud Engagement. Uh, I think most people still just call it Pardot. So that's the reason why that's the label in the plugin, but I just wanted to clarify in case you were wondering uh, why Pardot and Marketing Cloud uh, Engagement, uh, basically the same thing, they just got different names. So I just wanted to really quickly touch on that before we moved on. So the first thing we need to get is our business unit ID. So let's go ahead and find that business unit ID by going into our Pardot account. So if you log into Pardot and open that up in the browser, you can basically find this page called the business unit setup page by going into your settings icon. So in the top right of Pardot, click on this little settings icon, click on marketing setup, and that should take you to this page here where you can then click on this business unit setup item in the left-hand side. So I've just clicked on business unit setup and it should let you find this business unit ID. So it should start with zero UV, and have a bunch of other letters and numbers there. So I'm just gonna copy that uh, business unit ID to the clipboard. So I'm gonna highlight it, copy it, and paste that into Emailify. So I'm gonna paste that into the business unit ID field. And then the other thing we need is our uh, email address and password that we use to actually log into Pardot. So I'm just gonna paste those in now. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the uh, email address user, paste that in there. And then I'm gonna also paste the password. So I'm just gonna paste the password in the password field and drop those in there. 
And then we just need two more bits of information. So we basically need a consumer key and a consumer secret. So I'll show you where to find those now. And to get those, we just need to go to a different page in Pardot uh, called the App Manager. So you can get to the App Manager by going to the Setup page. So you can get to the Setup page by clicking on the little Settings icon here and clicking on Setup. And that should bring you to this Setup page here. And then what you need to do in the left-hand column is scroll down to the Platform Tools uh, section, expand the Apps accordion, and then click on the App Manager menu item. So on the left-hand side, click on App Manager, and that should bring up this uh, Lightning Experience App Manager page that you can see here. And so assuming that you've already got a uh, app connected app created, it should show up in this list down here. Uh, if you don't, you can go ahead and click on the new connected app uh, button and just set up a new connected app uh, that you want to use with Emailify and fill in all the details and make sure that it can generate a consumer uh, key and secret. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm going to go down to my uh, Pardot test uh, integration down here and I'm just going to click on this little arrow on the right hand side. So click on that little arrow and that should let you click on the view item. So click on view. And once you click on view, that should bring you to another page, uh, just showing you the connected app that you've just clicked on. So you can see here, I've got my par.test connected app. And what you want to do is basically go down here where it says API enable OAuth settings. And you want to click on the manage consumer details button. So this should reveal your uh, consumer key and secret and you'll be able to copy paste those to the clipboard. So I've already got those saved in a separate file. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab them now and copy and paste them into my Emailify plugin. So first of all, I'm gonna grab the consumer key. So I'm gonna copy and paste that into the consumer key field, paste that in. Then I'm gonna grab the consumer secret and paste that into the consumer secret field. And once we paste that in, it should automatically load the Pardot API and it'll tell you that it's connected with Pardot if you enter the details successfully. So that's uh, how you can connect to Pardot. So those details are now added and saved so they'll automatically connect to this screen that you can see. So you can see that now that we're authenticated, uh, it's basically uh, showing us some different fields that we can now select for uploading our HTML to Pardot. So I'm mindful that there's a few steps here uh, just due to how complicated the Pardot API process is, uh, but we've only got a few more things to get through and then we'll be able to upload these to Pardot from Figma. So you can see here that we've basically got uh, a few different fields. So we've got this uh, dropdown over here and this dropdown allows us to select the campaign that we wanna add the email to. So you can basically scroll down and pick the campaign that you want to select. So I'm just going to select this email plugin campaign that I've got in Pardot. And then in the middle column here, this will allow you to select the folder name that you want to uh, save the email into. So I'm just going to select the email templates folder. And then you want to tr select the tracking ID. So you want to select the tracker domain. So you'll have a bunch of different options here. Just select the one that you want and that'll be the tracking domain uh, that any links and all that sort of stuff gets tracked against. So the last thing we need to populate is just the sender name and email. So this isn't gonna send out any emails uh, at the moment, but it just needs to pre-populate those fields. So I'm just gonna add my name and email into there, and then we should be ready to go. So once you've populated those, the button should become available to upload this to Pardot. You've also got the option of making the template editable. So if you wanna add the Pardot editable region tags and things like that, you can select that option. Today, I'm just gonna leave that turned off. And then I'm just gonna click on the upload to Pardot button. Uh, we can also add the subject line. So I'm just gonna do test subject and test preheader. And then I'm gonna click on the upload to Pardot button to upload the templates. So I'm just gonna click upload to Pardot. This will automatically generate the HTML uh, upload any images and then upload the templates to Pardot. So you can see that it's telling us that the Pardot templates have been uploaded and we can view them in our email accounts uh, under the Pardot account. So to view the Pardot template that's been uploaded, you can go back to your browser and find this page here, which is the email templates page. Uh, a quick way to get there that I've found is to go to the top left corner here and click on this little menu icon and that'll allow you to search for things in Pardot. 
Uh, so if you search for engagement and go down to the items down here and click on in account engagement email. And if you click on account engagement email, that'll bring up this email templates page. So under your email templates list, under the publish templates, uh, you basically want to find the name of the email that you just uploaded. So in this case, I'm just going to click on the test pardot template and that should load up the template that we just set up a second ago. So you can see here that we've got our content, we've got our HTML that we just uploaded from Figma, and we can see that it's added the tracker domain that we specified and the test subject that we specified, including the sender as well. So it's got our general sender that we added, which is currently just my email address, and it's been uploaded to the folder that we selected in the plugin, the email templates folder, uh, along with the name of the template, which is just being taken from the Figma frame name. So if you want to change the name of the template, you can basically just update the name of the frame here in Figma, and that will automatically change uh, the name when it gets uploaded into Pardot, as we just saw. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, as I mentioned, there's a few different steps involved, just getting those initial details. But once you've got those added into the plugin, uh, you can basically just keep uploading templates from this Figma file. If you do start up a new Figma file with new templates, you'll just have to drop in those credentials again. Uh, but that should hopefully uh, be in there for this particular file. So you can continue uploading templates into your Pardot account from Figma. So thanks for following along with this tutorial. And I hope that's helpful if you've been wondering how to automate uh, uploading HTML emails from Figma into your Pardot account. This should hopefully make that process a little less painful. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.